465 Reaper cam, which I have. The bike just bogs a lot. I'm gonna give it to the SNS 475 cam. So in order to wake these motors up, Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Fueling 465 Reaper Cam, which I have in my 21 Road Glide Special right now, and also the 475 SNS Cam, which I had in my 2020 Lowrider S before. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for some time, and I've been asked hundreds of times to do the comparison video people want to know what do I think about both cams mainly which one do I prefer so that's what we're gonna be going over today so in the video we're gonna be going over certain variables as well um, power torque uh, rideability uh, sound performance basically all I guess we'll first start talking about with rideability as I come into this corner right here on this ramp on second gear very smooth very rideable coming out power's there switch it into third power's there Now the reason I started talking about second gear in that ramp going in the corner is because of rideability. So that's what we're going to talk about first. First of all, right off the bat, these are both torque cams. The 465 Reaper cam is a torque cam. Um, Fueling offers another cam, which is a horsepower cam, 472, I believe. Um, but this is a torque cam. And then the 475 is SNS's torque cam as well. Me being on a bigger bike, I want more torque. Um, I don't really care about the horsepower, the higher RPMs. I want my power right there and then. I want to be able to snap my throttle and, and get that power so I can dip in and out of traffic. Um, the way I also ride as well is just that that's just what I like. Now Rideability. I need to give it to the 465 fueling cam, hands down. It's it's more comfortable. So what you're gonna notice on the SNS 475 cam is that when you are in second gear, first gear, and you're at those very very low speeds, and even right there going on the ramp, very low speeds, the bike just bogs a lot. It bogs, it, it doesn't feel good, it's just that constant back and forth and you have to engage a lot in with your clutch as opposed to this where you, you don't need to do that and it's not going to do that unless you're in first gear and you're, you're, at, a, you're at going 5 miles an hour um, but you're not going to get that so when it comes to rideability the fueling cam has it hands down more rideable it's gonna make the ride more enjoyable um and I, I just i just hate that feeling of that bogging feeling man I, I really do this is such a smooth cam and at the same time it, it delivers so much power so rideability fueling has it now let's talk about sound real quick we're at what fourth gear right now drop it down to third real quick Beautiful sound. You hear that? I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up too much, but <laughs> so beautiful sound. You guys know that these Milwaukee eights stock are very quiet. Too too quiet for my taste. So in order to wake these motors up more power 
more sound, that classic Harley sound, you need to put a cam in these bikes. You really do. Now, right now I'm running the Chromeworks dual exhaust on here. So if I had a tune of one, it'll sound even louder, deeper, just sound more powerful. When it comes to sound, I don't think there's just a few cams out there, maybe maybe two, maybe three, that are gonna give you that really deep lobe you're looking for in a cam. So when it comes to sound, I'm gonna give it to the SNS 475 cam because that cam is just that cam is just a monster. It's a monster. It has such a beautiful, distinctive sound. You can tell, I mean, I can tell when a bike has an SNS cam in it. It's just something about that lobe, very distinctive, very deep. It's, it's a beautiful sound. So if you want, if you're looking for just sound, if that's your main objective, which a lot of people, that's their main objective, the SNS 475 cam has it hands down. Now let's talk about performance. This is where it kind of gets a little in the gray area. I'll be posting up the numbers right here that SNS says you'll make with the uh, 475 cam on the Milwaukee 8 114, as well as the fueling 465 Reaper cam. So you guys compare numbers right here. As far as power, I, I don't know. As far as power, I feel like power delivery, they kind of almost feel the same. They kind of do. I've ridden the 475 in a Roll Glide 114 as well, so I'm just not comparing it to my low rider as being a smaller and lighter bike. So I have felt the power, same amount. Um, I don't know. It, t t to me, they they feel like they're kind of neck and neck when it comes to power delivery. The SNS does feel a bit more torquier though. That that cam is just a monster. That cam, <laughs> there, there, there's just no other way to to say it. They both put around the same power, but you feel the torque more on that cam. You hear it more as well, as opposed to the fueling that is more. How can I say? Redefined, smoother. I, I guess that would be the proper way to kind of compare them. So, right now, I bet you're asking, well, do you regret not doing the 475 in this bike? Not at all. I, I think I made the right choice for this bike. Specifically this bike. On the low rider, hands down the 475 all day. On this bike, the Reaper Cam is, is what I would choose. It's just smoother, man. It's a lot smoother and you're gonna be able to enjoy the ride a lot more, especially on these bikes. You know, a lot of you guys put down a lot of miles on these baggers, um, especially if you're on cross country or into in and out of state lines and you're on these bikes all day um, you want something more smoother you want something a little bit more quieter uh, so you can enjoy the ride some some people I've heard of people tell me hey you know what I, I I don't run cams on my bike because I ride too much I'm in and out of states I ride cross country all the time and I I I want to be able to enjoy my ride and have a quieter ride. I don't want to hear all that extra stuff, you know? So people are like that. I don't put in heavy miles like that. So to me, the type of riding that I do, this uh, this cam did a job for me. Changed the sound, gave me the torque that I wanted, the power that I wanted. And the ride feels great. So I'm happy with it. Now, I think we come to the part of the video where we got to do our honorable mention. Um, if it wasn't for the fueling cam and SNS cam, what would I do? Uh, Star Racing 3030 cam, that would be the obvious choice. 
That would be my, yeah, definitely. That's a great cam. Mike from Torque has put that cam in a ton of bikes in the past few months. And uh, everyone's pretty happy with it. I've ridden a few of them. I, I like the power output. Love the sound. The sound is going to be a bit more deeper, closer to what uh, the SNS cam sounds like. So a lot more throttier than this. Um, but when it comes to smoothness, feeling has it, man. The 465, all day for me. But yes, there is a ton of other cams out there. So you guys can let me know right now what you're running on your bike, how you're liking it. Um, do you want to change it? Do you wish you had gone with something different or not? I'm really eager to know. Fifth gear. Fifth gear. You guys saw that needle climbing right there. <laughs> the power is there. <laughs> so smooth, but the power delivery is definitely there, man. Really quick, do me a favor. Go ahead, hit that like button right now. If you like this video, go ahead and share it with your friends. It helps out the channel a lot, guys. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure to go ahead and subscribe. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. I'm gonna keep enjoying this beautiful day. We're, we're in New York now, talking about in and out of state lines. Going from uh, Jersey to New York, I gotta head over to the uh, DMV because I finally, finally, after four years of living in Jersey, <laughs> I've, I've given up my, my New York tag. So, uh, yeah, yep, I, I, I'm hard headed. I didn't wanna let go of my New York tags. And yeah, so I'm heading to the DMV right now. I gotta. Uh, I gotta get my tags back, and then I'm headed back home. Got a got a few more videos to film with the Indian Challenger in the shop right now, as well as the brand new 2023 Harley Davidson CBO that's in the garage right now. So if you don't know about that, go watch the previous video. You'll you know what I'm talking about. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.